Vice ultimately makes you a beta male. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to explain in this video why. But before I dive into it, I want to just say that I'm not coming from a space of judgment here. The reality is, is most men, 99.9% .9 of men are trapped in some vice. And I know this myself. I've been through this battle. So I'm not speaking as a holy man. I'm not speaking as a man who thinks that he's somewhat morally or superior to anyone else. I'm just speaking as a man who's been through it, who's come out on the other side, who still has temptations like everybody else, um, but has developed himself into a person who's able to stay vice free. And because of that, I want to share with you how you can do it and why it's making you a beta male. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Nikula Daz and I help men master their S3X energy so you could be a powerhouse both in and outside the bedroom. Your S3X energy is actually the root of your vices and I'm going to talk a little bit about that at the end of the video, but I do want to share with you that in the link in the descriptions below, there's some links, some resources like the free ejaculation control guide. Uh, go take that, register. It's a free course and it's going to help you not only become more powerful in the bedroom, but it's going to help you control your S3X energy, which is going to help you get rid of the vices in your life. All right. So why does vice make you a beta male? Uh, and I know this because as a man who had vice for a long time, um, it basically makes you weak. And it's as simple as that. You're weak mentally, you're weak physically, you are not reaching your potential. And when we talk about an alpha male, a leader, someone who stands above the crowd, they are strong, there's strength to them, they're stable. And when we're in our masculine energy, when we're in our alpha energy, we are strong, we are stable, we are rock solid. And not only we rock solid for ourselves, but we're rock solid for the people around us. We can become a pillar in which others can get strength. But if you yourself are being torn by your vices, you're, you're going to be uh, so um, emotional. You're going to be up and down. People are going to have to walk on eggshells around you. That's not stability. That's not masculinity. So what are the five vices that are making men beta? And I want you to know that as you listen to this list, if you're thinking, oh shit, man, I got one of those, two of those, all five of those, it's okay you can get over it. But what's going to determine whether you get over it or not is your desire. You have to have white, hot, passionate desire to be able to overcome these vices because they're tough to overcome. And I'm going to share with you at the end of the video how to create white, hot, passionate desire in yourself. All right, the first vice that is totally killing men's alpha quality and masculine quality is alcohol. When you drink alcohol, it releases cortisone into your system. And cortisone is, or cortisol, maybe I'm not getting those, I'm not a biologist, but you get it, is releases this chemical into your system that um, basically what it does is a stress hormone. So when you say I got to have a drink to, to, you know, calm myself at the end of the night, I have to have a drink to unwind. What you're actually doing is the opposite. Uh, the yogis call this Maya illusion, where we're doing something negative in the illusion that it's positive. So uh, having a drink at the end of the night, alcohol is raising the cortisol levels in your system, raising the stress levels. When your stress levels are, ra are raised, you can't make good decisions, you can't control your other vices, and you're not stable. And because you're not stable, you essentially fall into your feminine qualities, you become a follower instead of a leader, you become a beta male. Number two is drugs. Anything that you're using that alters your state. So my vice was weed for the longest time. 
Um, you know, I have to say, I got to share, you can get to the point. I was at a party this weekend and, uh, you know, people were drinking, people were smoking, people were eating shrooms and I didn't touch one single thing. And I felt great. There's nothing that's going to make you feel more powerful. You can have the money, you can have the status, you can be having all types of S three X. Nothing will make you more feel more powerful than a man than to be able to be in a room full of vice and not touch it and not be even tempted by it, but not even desire it because you know you have enough knowledge to know that is not the way you want to go. You have enough desire for a better life that you can even be with people who are still caught in that scenario, but be a positive example for them. So uh, anything that's altering your state, so weed, um, shrooms, um, you know, cocaine, anything like this, anything that's altering your state is ultimately going to raise your stress levels as well. It's going to throw your hormones off. And when your hormones are thrown off, that's when you're going to run into your beta male qualities. That's when you're going to essentially become more feminine. Because again, all of these things are going to take you out of your strong masculinity. They're not going to make you stable, strong. Uh, they're going to kill your determination. They're going to kill your motivation. They're going to kill your ambition, which is ultimately all of the attractive qualities that we as men possess. So we got to get rid of the drugs. Number three, social media. Social media is essentially a drug. I put it in the same category as marijuana and all of that. It reduces your capacity. One of the things that social media does is you lose memory. You are not as sharp because you're getting all of these dopamine hits. And when you understand your dopamine, dopamine is a motivator. So when your dopamine receptors are messed up, when you're uh, overstimulating yourself. You have no motivation to go increase your business, to increase your finances, to create natural ways of dopamine, which ultimately remember that dopamine is not a reward, it's a motivator. So there was an experiment done with rats and what they did is they took one rat and I believe they pumped it up with cocaine, this poor rat. But anyways, this cocaine was high as heck. And uh, I mean, this rat, excuse me, was high as heck on cocaine. And then they had another other rat that was natural and our brain and a rat's brain are, are quite similar. Um, what they notice is they put a piece of cheese in front of the rat that was all cocaine up and the rat would not go get the cheese even though it was hungry to the point where it actually died. Now, we as human beings, we're a little bit more advanced than the rat, I would hope. Uh, so we'll generally override our very basic motivators. But you'll notice if you're not motivated to eat, if you're not motivated to go and build your business or increase your finances or to take care of your household or whatever it is, I can guarantee you that your dopamine is messed up. So what ends up happening with men is when they're on social media too much, because you're getting all of that dopamine from a fake stimulus, and as opposed to going out and creating real success for yourself. And video games, by the way, does the same thing. So we could put video games and, and uh, social media in the same category. What it ends up doing is it ends up taking away your motivation. And one of the things that makes an alpha male an alpha male is motivation. They're motivated much more than the regular man, and that's because they're staying away from those type of vices. So you want to ex -nape. Now, social media is difficult in this age. I use social media. It's how I grow my business. So when it comes to social media, you have to use social media and not be used by social media. Uh, it's okay to have some social media in your life. It's okay to have some video games in your life. It's not okay to be controlled by those things, and it's not okay to be spending all all night or all day on those things when your responsibilities aren't taken care of. You need to put them in their place, like any form of entertainment. It has to come after your responsibilities. You know, one of the things, um, you know, in this channel, we talk about mastering our S3X energy a lot. And uh, when I read the Kama Sutra, it's really interesting. One of the first things, most people think the Kama Sutra is just like, you know, uh, uh, S3X positions. Uh, it's so much more than that. That's only a small part of the Kama Sutra, actually. But uh, of course, in this modern world, everything gets dumbed down to just the material aspects of it. The first principle of the Kama Sutra is S3X comes after 
all your responsibilities are taken care of. All right. So it's not about uh, just going out and doing it as much as you can. It's like a reward of nature. Again, it puts it in its place. You need to put social media and these forms of communication, video games, entertainment in its place. If you, if you're, E to E ratio is off. What's your E to E ratio? Entertainment to education. If you are entertaining yourself more than you're educating yourself, you'll eventually fall into your beta male qualities because an alpha male, a leader, is always educating themselves. They're always getting better. You'll notice, look at the stats of top CEOs as an example. They read more books than anyone else on the planet. Some CEOs are knocking out one book a week. A week. How many t- books have you read this week or this month or this year? Statistically, most men by the age of 25 stop educating themselves and completely fall into entertainment, which makes them weak men. So you want to put social media, you want to put video games aside, pick up a book, attend webinars get programs, get into personal development, and watch your life continuously get better. Number four is the news. All right, as men, we're highly driven to watch the news as human beings. By the way, all of this applies to women too, but this is a men's channel. Uh, But just, you know, I know some ladies do watch. Um, News is uh, not what news used to be. Maybe at one time, news might have been all right, where they just read the news and, and they say, here's what happened. News is now pretty much like on the same category as, you know, whatever, the National Enquirer and all of these tabloid magazines. Here's what the news does, and they're very smart. They uh, play on your fear centers. They play on your fear. And that's why the news is so addictive. It's like why people, they're like, you know, I have to watch. I got to know what's going on. I have to know because that's all fear, right? I have to know. I have to know if the lion's going to come and get me or not. You know, what is the World Economic Forum doing today? And I know I ran in politics and that's how I know. I know it from the inside that it's all bullshit. Okay. They're playing you. Okay. Um, all sides, left wing, right wing. I don't give a shit anymore because they're all doing the exact same thing, which is they're playing on your fear. They're hyping up your fear to get you to take action in the way that they want you to take action. That's why I love when Lord Jesus Christ said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, meaning don't pay attention to that. Focus on you and your life and creating the abundance and prosperity and joy and fun and fulfillment that you want. The news wants you watching the news. And so what they do is they heighten everything. You'll notice that everything in the news is a crisis. Everything is a grave situation. Everything is like the doom, end of the world, you know? Right now it's a nuclear holocaust and what's happening in Ukraine and and all of this stuff. And all it does is it actually activates your fear center. Well, here's what they know when you're in fear, you're definitely not in a positive mood. You're definitely not creating and you are easy to control. Why is it easy to control an animal? Because an animal has four activities, eating, sleeping, mating, and fearing or defending the same thing. Look at how most people live their life always in fear. Fear puts you into reactive mode rather than creation mode. The alpha male, the leader, is creating, right? That's why the prime minister, the president, they're creating. Everybody else is following them. They're responding. If you want to leave the pack, if you want to leave the majority, and you want to experience life on another level, you have to be willing to leave the pack or the collective consciousness and get into your own consciousness and what God, what nature equipped you to do. That's where you're going to find your power. That's where you're going to find your joy. And as a man, that's where you're going to find your alpha qualities. All right, and number five uh, is... uh, Pornography. Pornography, I put it right up there with alcohol, drugs, social media, news. It might even be the worst of them all, truthfully. Because pornography, just like the news, plays on your very center of your brain, your fear. Well, S3X uh, is our driving motivation in this world. And what happens is pornography ends up 
taking away that drive. So I'm not saying S3X is bad. I'm not saying go and have you know your freaky experiences or do whatever you want to do. I'm saying go do it for real and stop watching other people on a screen do it. Because what it's doing is, first of all, it's training you to be a passive in your S3X life. So go back to the rats. What's happening with men, so many men right now are experiencing low libido. And one of the reasons they're experiencing low libido is because their hormones are off. And because their hormones are off, they have no motivation They to actually go get a real woman or a real partner. Because when you have to actually go and have a real S3X experience, there's all the nervousness that comes with it. There's all the excitement that comes with it. There's all the social anxiety that comes with it. You'll see that men have so much social anxiety right now that they can't even go they can't even have a conversation without first, you know, having a drink or smoking a joint or doing something like that. And I know I used to be like that. Oh, I'll smoke a joint first, then go to the party. I'll have a drink, then we'll go out. Why? It just means that you're underdeveloped in your social abilities. And so you need to get really good at your social abilities where you don't need those things anymore. So pornography takes all of that away. It takes your drive away. If you're in a relationship or marriage, it's going to totally stifle your attraction to your wife. It's going to stifle your attraction to real women because you're programming your brain to see all of these filtered, fake women, essentially, right, that are all like designed to, to, to look their absolute like best, 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 but not naturally because anytime you meet someone, they don't look like that. But what happens is when you reattune your eyes to real women, when you see a real woman, you're going to find her beautiful. And by the way, women can sense your energy. They can sense whether you're thirsty and kind of being like creepy and like, uh, you know, kind of drooling over them type of thing. Or they can sense whether you're in your masculine, you're strong, you're grounded. And the first thing that any woman's going to need to feel attracted to you is to feel safe around you. So if you're all over the place, your hormones are all over the place, they're not going to feel safe. And that's what's driving a lot of women to fall into their masculine energy. They have no choice. The less men take up their position as, uh, as masculine alpha males, then the more women have to fall into that position because they have no choice. So the more that you're in your masculine, the more women will feel safe around you. And then naturally, there'll be an attraction there or a friendship there. I mean, not everything has to lead to S3X. We need to get over that. All right. So to recap... Alcohol, drugs, social media, video games, we'll put them in the same category, news and pornography. These five vices are absolutely killing your alpha qualities. They're making you beta. They're making you fall into your feminine. And every man pretty much in this day and age has to battle it because culture, society, media, entertainment are all telling you that that's what life is all about. That life is about those things. Uh, I knew I grew up. I know I grew up listening to Tupac Shakur and Fifty Cent. Right? You know, it's like all about girls and smoking dope and blah 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 blah. blah. Um, but they're lies. It's the illusion of life. And right now, our culture is just pumping at you with it. So you have to really develop yourself with a lot of strength. That's why I recommend hiring me as your coach, as your trainer. That's why I recommend and going taking the free ejaculation control guide, picking up books, reading, because all of that is going to reprogram your mind or uncondition you, unlearn what you've been taught so you can get back into your natural masculine state. You're going to feel great. It's going to be a positive thing for your life and for everybody around you. Now, at the beginning, I promised you that I'd tell you how to increase desire because again, you could be looking at this list and thinking like I did, holy smokes, I'm never going to get beyond that. That's just like, you know, I mean, basically, uh, Nicole, you're taking all the fun away, right? I know all those thought processes, they're all lies in your head, but I get it. You're going to go through that because I went through that, right? Well, my life's going to be boring without the dope. My life's going to be, it's true. It's actually the exact opposite. We're doing, we're having way more fun. We got way more money. We got way more experiences now and we're doing it to completely clean. I say we, me and my wife. And so here's the deal. If you want to increase desire, desire comes from your balls, okay? Let's just play plain and simple. Desire uh, and your S3X energy are one and the same. So 
naturally when you are building your s3x energy so you're staying away from those vices you'll notice that you're not going and masturbating and jerking off because a lot of that jerking off and watching pornography and all that stuff comes from your vices like i know if i'm smoking dope it's a way harder to master my own energy right if i'm drinking alcohol like i know how many guys will say yeah man when i drink alcohol that's when i do the dumbest shit right so as you get rid of those vices naturally desire will come up but it's kind of like a double-edged sword you know just start with one and in a way, it's better to actually focus on what you're doing as opposed to what you're trying not to do. So here's what you want to do. You want to start to learn to practice semen retention. I'm not saying you never have to bust again. I'm just saying put some control around it. And that's why we have the free ejaculation control guide. What this is going to do is it's going to start to build your desire. And then you have to have a vision for your life. Your mind needs a goal. So write a five-year goal write it down, read it every single day so that you can see it and start to implant this vision of who you are five years from now. And I bet you that you're not seeing yourself as a man full of vice jerking off. Nobody envisions themselves as a weak man. So you see yourself as a strong man. You see yourself living the life you want to live five years from now. And every single day you want to read that. Then couple that with uh, uh, the sexual alchemy practices that I teach, and you're gonna learn to raise your energy and therefore desire, and you're gonna glue because sex energy is like a glue. It expands whatever it touches. So when you are purposely taking your S3X energy and you're placing it with the vision of your mind and you're gluing those together, you're expanding your vision, and what it's gonna slowly do over time, it's gonna help you stay away from anything that's taking you away from that vision. And that's ultimately how you get rid of vice. You have to make the vice more painful than pleasurable. You have to start to associate the vice of what it really is, and stop buying into the lie of modern culture. It's not pleasure, it's pain, it is detrimental. So therefore, as you start to associate or reassociate your mind with pleasure, being success, being positive things in your life, real experiences, you're going to want to stay away from the stimulated or fake experiences, which is going to put you on the right track. So here's the deal. It's not easy to do this on your own. I know I've had great mentors in my life that helped me get over my shit. And I'd love to offer that to you. You've got the free ejaculation control guide. Also, you've got a direct link to connect with me. Send me a message. Let's jump on a call. Let's chat. And we can talk about further training. But sometimes just that one call is all that's needed. One real conversation with someone who's been able to overcome this can totally change your life. I mean, sometimes it's the simplest conversations that make all the difference. So don't hesitate. Go and send me a message, sign up for the programs, and let's start making your life better now. I'll see you on the next video.